Habitat for Humanity launched the European Housing Innovation Awards last August. The Innovation Awards are part of competitions happening around the world through the Housing Forum series. Applicants to the Innovation Awards were competing in three categories, which you've heard about now. And we received a lot of submissions, a lot of great submissions. So we have heard the winners and we've seen a short video introduction. Now it's time to meet them in person and hear from them in person and to be inspired by them. We started with a letter and this letter was something positive and we wanted to start a positive dynamic process to get landlords and tenants closer to each other and acting together and giving tenants a chance to work actively on climate changing processes. And that was convincing, but additionally for sure saving money is very convincing. The tenants sometimes are a bit skeptical that all what the landlords do is sooner or later rising the costs. We proved that we can do this absolutely in the opposite way. And this is something that excited the tenants to join this digital processes, to lose their skepticism. It absolutely broke my heart to find that most of those buildings, the majority of those amazing buildings that somebody spent decades on creating, were left there to rot. They were deconstructed, they were demolished, and none of those amazing things inside the buildings were given a second life. So I just couldn't wrap my mind around it. It just didn't make any sense. Why is this happening and why are we allowing this to happen? So fast forward a few years, just a few years, um, Material Mapper was born to try and solve a part of this problem. I received this award for the Shelter Tech Innovation and um, I couldn't be more happy for Habitat for Humanity to shed the light on how important it is to have access to sustainable and affordable materials for construction. I would also to congratulate all the finalists. In my mind, we are all winners for the great work we do. Position of measures put housing as a sign qua non for the enjoyment of other fundamental human rights. Our planning process does not operate in a vacuum. While taking the lead as the first Greek city to strategize on housing, MDAT and the municipality adopt integrated urban development principles.